In a cozy Southern California home, a 91-year-old grandmother carefully crafts what some consider unsuitable, but for her, it's one size fits all. That's about the size of a, of a neck. Charlotte makes kits that kill. To die with this helium, this just takes you a couple of minutes and, and die peacefully and closes a money order for $60. Charlotte only agreed to talk with us if we didn't reveal her face on camera. But what she will reveal is how her homemade kits can help take one's life. You pull it up about that far, because if it's too little, you know, it, it may wiggle around. This is never not going to come out. I got it. Sorry. <laughs> it's OK. Charlotte's orders come from all over the world. I will promise I will do that. This time, OK, hon, bye-bye. A man suffering from melanoma Take care. Bye -bye. put in an order to die. Some people might say, why aren't you doing this for the money? No. Why are you doing this, Charlotte? Because I care about people. It was care for her own husband during his battle with colon cancer that Charlotte began making and selling her suicide kits. I wish he had died a peaceful death. Charlotte blames her husband's doctors for keeping him alive. She now hopes her kits will help others in their own fate. People like Oregon native Nick Klonoski. A few months ago, the 29-year-old picked up the phone, ordered a helium hood kit from Charlotte, and took his own life. He had choices. He could have hung himself. He could have jumped off a building. But he took this way out. What Charlotte is selling is not illegal, because she's not actually there when someone takes their own life. Three states have passed the death with dignity law, which legalizes physician-assisted suicide but only in terminally ill cases. As for California, assisted suicide is illegal here, but proponents are trying to change that. We call it the ultimate civil liberty. Faye Gersh, founding member of the Final Exit Network, says people should not be forced to live when they're suffering. We don't consider what we work with as suicide. The people we work with don't have temporary problems. They have permanent problems. We believe that people should have a choice of a peaceful, dignified, quick and certain death if they're suffering from a chronic or terminal illness. The controversy? Klonowski didn't suffer from a terminal illness. He battled chronic depression. His death ignited a firestorm of debate over the accessibility of these helium suicide kits. It preys really on vulnerable people. Tim Rosales, the spokesperson for Californians Against Assisted Suicide, says suicide kits hurt, not help, ailing patients. What they're doing is they're trying to, I think, uh, legitimize uh, suicide as a, as a medical treatment in some way to deal with a medical problem. People who may have uh, difficulty with depression, may have a new or uh, serious disability or illness uh, that they're trying to deal with. Opponents like Rosales say death shouldn't be an option and helium hood kits shouldn't be so easily available. They're spearheading legislation to stop people like Charlotte from introducing such methods. As a society, we, ha we have a responsibility to, to deal with in a, in a different way rather than giving somebody a plastic bag and telling them, you know, here you go, you can put it over your head and, you know. While the death debate rages on, it hasn't pulled Charlotte off crafting her kits. Whatever they want to do at the end of their life, they want, they need to have the right to make that decision. It's just wrong for medical people and religious people and everybody else to make that decision for you.